Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and I have another super cute one-page wonder for you today. So this is a mini folio um, made out of an 8x8 eight eight piece of paper. So um, let me show you what it does. It flips up like this, and um, there's a pocket here, and a little corner pocket here, and then it opens up. And there's a side load large pocket there. And then a little pocket here. And actually, there is another pocket, and I realized I hadn't put anything in there, um, in this back pocket there. So that's one, two, I'm gonna count this as three, but you know, you could also put something like this too. But we'll call this three a big one and then four, five. So five pockets and a flip. It's cute. And I also made with the same eight by eight piece of paper, the sweet little belly band to slide on there. So, um, I don't know if, is that a belly band, a closure or something. Um, so since I'm using an eight by eight piece of paper, you guessed it, you can use just a piece of digital paper, right, that you've printed, oh, trying to get one, um, you know, that you've printed out, and I didn't even print it on both sides, there's just a little bit of white that shows, and I was okay with that, so you can start off with a piece of paper like this, or you can start off with an 8x8 paper pack, you can use a piece of 12x12 12 12 scrapbook paper that you've just cut down to 8x8, okay? So um, let's get started and I'll give you the measurements. As always, I will have those measurements in the description of the video for you. So if you don't wanna take notes, you don't have to because we are cutting it into some little bitty pieces. So the first thing you wanna do is cut your eight by eight piece of paper um, either side. I cut mine just kind of based a little bit on the pattern. We'll see how it looks when I fold it up, but um, at three inches. Okay, so that's going to leave you with a piece of paper that is then three by eight. All right, set this piece aside for just a minute and let's focus on the three by eight piece. I want you on the three inch side to lay it in your paper trimmer and cut off um, a half an inch. Okay, so you'll have a little sliver like this. And then you'll have a piece that is two and a half inches by eight. And then turn it on the eight inch side and cut it at three inches. So you're gonna have a three by two and a half piece, a five by two and a half piece, and then this sliver that is a half an inch by eight inches. All right, set those aside. Now go back to your piece that is eight inches by five inches this way. And um, the way I did it is I, again, on the eight inch side, I cut it at three inches, just like that. And then I cut on that three inch side another half inch off. <laughs> so now I have a three by five, a half an inch by five, and then a five by five square. Okay, and I've made this several times. I'm just double checking up yep, five by five. Okay, so you have all these little pieces and let's not get, get confused. It's gonna be just fine. Um, and I'll tell you which one we're working with at each point. So let's first take the five by five piece and we are gonna do a little bit of scoring. And depending on, you know, your paper and the directionality, this one actually had um, a direction and I didn't mind if things ended up upside down. This one, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm going to just decide to fold it in half. Um, I don't know. We'll do it this way. So the first thing we do is score it at two and a half because we are going to then just fold this in half. So score it at two and a half, so we'll get a nice, a nice fold. And then turn it, and you're gonna score it at one and a half. And this is gonna make um, some little pockets. 
okay? All right, so set that aside after you've scored the five by five inch piece. And then let's take the piece that is two and a half inches by five. You actually have two of those. These are both two and a half inches by five. One of these is gonna turn into your flap for the front, the, the flip, and the other is gonna turn into the um, little angled pocket on the inside. So just decide which piece you want to use. I'm going to use this one. And on the five inch side, score it at one and a half inches. Okay, just like that. This piece that is the other five by two and a half, score it at two and a half because we're gonna fold it in half. And then I'll show you, show you how we do the angled pocket. And I think that is all of our scoring. Yeah, that's all of our scoring. So I'm gonna put this away. Okay, dokey. Um, let's, let's work on the main, um, this, this inside part of our folio. So get out your bone folder or your fingernail or whatever you're gonna use <laughs> to crease. You wanna use your fingernail tool. And let's get everything folded up nice. Now I am going to cut out this section. Um, let me put a little bit of ink on here to show you guys. I'm just gonna cut out just a sliver right along the crease. I just wanna cut the kind of that folded paper out. Okay, and then a trick. I think I saw Julie at Camellia Craft Designs. She, she does this, you fold it back over and then you can just really snip it off nice and clean there. Okay, so you have a piece that looks like that. It was just the tiniest sliver, but what that does is it just makes this fold up much nicer. Look how cute and tiny. Okay, so set this piece aside for just a minute. Um, this is the piece that is now, it should be two and a half inches wide, yeah, by three. This is actually, well, we don't really need to set this aside. This is going to become that big back pocket. Now, I like to do a little notch in mine. That's up to you. You will see the white paper through. Um, another option is you can save this little piece and kind of glue it back down, but then with the Distress Ink, you still see the little bit of a notch. Why don't I do that just to show you? Because it's kind of a cute way, um, if you want to, to save that little piece of paper. So we'll glue this pocket down first. And again, let me ink this so that you can see, hopefully, what I'm doing. And guys, I am using my um, aqua blue kit with all the birds. So we're gonna decorate this with a little bird ephemera. So I'm really excited about that. We are gonna glue this piece on the right hand side, okay? And glue it like a pocket. So we're gonna just put glue on three sides. Now there is gonna be a little teeny trim we have to do. No matter how I do this, it always ends up just a little bit large but I like to glue it down and then trim it off instead of trying to trim it and then um, get it to fit in here. I don't know, see how it's just barely larger? Um, I'm just gonna trim it off really quick. You might be able to just ink distress it and not even see this tiny sliver, so that's up to you. But look how cute. Now, I'm gonna take this piece and we're gonna carefully glue it right in there, but not glue our pocket closed. That is the key, right? <laughs> Let's not glue it closed. So I hope everybody is having a great day and y'all are still enjoying this series. I love One Page Wonders. In fact, I was looking for something on my channel 
just looking for a, some some little piece of paper to help me make sure I didn't glue my pocket closed. Um, I was looking for something and I saw a one page wonder, oh gosh, that I did several years ago. And I think I can make it better or make the video better. So I'm thinking about redoing that one. But um, anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying um, this series and uh, you're not getting tired of them. Everybody tells me, you know, Pam, keep going. So, so I'm going, but um, if you ever get tired of them, tell me to move on. I'm trying to intersperse, of course, with some other videos. I've just done um, one, I don't know what order I'm gonna post everything in, but using a vintage um, book as a journal cover. Someone made a request that I showed you how I do that. So I've got that one and I did the layered tall and skinny journal. So I've got other things happening, but anyway, the one page wonders and the journal idea book are have just been so much fun. So fun. Okay. So now we have this cute pocket up here and we're going to glue this pocket down. So this one gets glue on both sides of the flap right here. Once you get that little piece of paper chopped up, this is not a hard project at all. I am trying to ink a little bit as I go because I think it looks nicer and it's just a little bit easier if you want to ink to do it before you glue everything down, but th that's up to you. All right, this is going to be the front flap and it, I haven't glued this down yet. It is um, going to be um, the top portion of that side load pocket. Cute, and you know what? I didn't cut this on the right size. Wonder what we did there. Oh, you know what? I didn't score it at the right place. That's what it is. I scored it, I can already tell. I scored this at an inch and a quarter and not at an inch and a half. So we're going to just fix it. And I don't mind that there, that ink is there, but um, you gotta make sure you score it in the right place. So that was supposed to be scored. I'll have all of this in the description at one and a half, not one and a quarter. And see, we have a much smaller gap here too, which is nice. Okay, so get that lined up. I like to line it up, make sure it looks nice on the front and then hold it nice and firm and then flip up to add my glue. Of course, mine slid, so I'm gonna pick it up again and make sure everything's where I want it. Flip up. Now, because I wanna leave this as a side load, don't put glue on this side. We're going to add glue here and along this edge. And I do put just a little bit right here to help secure this flap. Oops, stop, don't do what I did. Stop, stop, lift it up if you did. We're actually leaving this whole section open. So just pretend I didn't do that. You're not gonna add glue here. You are gonna add glue right across the top and along this side and that is it. It is easy to forget what you're doing when you're also trying to talk in the video. Okay, so let me get that piece of paper. Let's make sure I have not glued my little pocket closed. Kind of oozed over more than I wanted. Okay, we're okay. And then for this pocket, we're only gonna glue down this side because this, like I said, is gonna be a side load. But I do like this style of pocket because you have a big opening here for, for something, right? But if you want to, you can tuck an extra um, in this way. Cute. Okay. All right, and now we're gonna close this, open up our flap, everything's looking good. Now, this is the piece, the second piece that was five by two and a half. Okay, so the first thing you do is you fold it in half. We, we scored it um, at two and a half to fold it. Now, I want to make the, 
diagonal pocket with this. And I find the easiest way to do that is if you're using paper that's not printed on both sides is fold it so that the white is, um, is showing. And then I want to take, okay, let me just start over. So fold it so that it's your, your flap is up. So it folds down like this. Then take the top left-hand corner and you're gonna fold this corner to this corner, just like this. Now I find it easier to open it up and use the score line to help me. But hopefully, I didn't, I didn't fold the original piece exactly right. That's why I have that white strip there. But now we have, when we glue it down, a pocket here and a pocket here. And like I said, I just did not fold or score this exactly right in the beginning. So I'm just gonna trim it off and it'll be okay. All right, super cute. I don't want it that way, I want it, I want it to be this way. And I cut the wrong, I cut the wrong sliver. All right, so if you have the same problem as me, just cut the slivers off and it will still fit in here nicely, okay? It's gonna nestle right in here and we'll have a pocket and a pocket. Now, I like to ink mine so you can see the pocket and I do a lot of angled pockets like this. Sometimes I will chop this off and use this triangle for something else. Um, today, we're just gonna glue it down but that is a choice you can make. All right, so cute. So glue your triangles together, or your fold here. It's in the shape of a triangle. And then I want it to load here, so we're just gonna add a bead of glue to this edge. And then because I want the extra pocket here. I'm gonna hold it by the side I want to leave open, and we'll just do glue on the three other sides. And glue it to the bottom. Oh, I love how this turns out. Such an easy, fun project, and I love how tiny it is. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the little belly band. Ooh pick up the paper and let's see you can I the pattern of this piece of paper the way it fit on here I ended up gluing it to the back um, gluing the, the paper and have the seam on the back you know if you want the seam on the front and then you could add a, a decoration or a piece of, of paper to it you, you've got lots of options I'm gonna do this where I have these blue flowers on the front panel um, just because I like the idea of a stripe of that here and a stripe here for the belly band so I'm just gonna put it where I want it I'm not doing a hard crease because I am gonna put a few things in here so I don't want my belly band to be too tight and I'm just gonna wrap it around Again, not super snug, but not too loose either. And I'm gonna hold it with my finger. I am gonna just chop it off. Try to chop straight. And I'm gonna glue it together. You could, if you wanted to, add a little Velcro dot here so that it's a one that would open up the closure. Totally up to you. Okay, isn't that sweet? I really like how they turn out. I like how tiny they are. So this is still pretty skinny. It could um, go inside a larger journal in a pocket. You could give this to a friend, all kinds of things you could do. So let me get some of the little pieces from this kit um, that I have, that I haven't used, um, that I already have cut out. And we'll, we'll see what we can do to make this one look cute. I definitely think we need some birds on the front, right? <laughs> Why not? 
Um, this would also be cute if I took some of the navy paper and backed it. What do y'all think? Yeah, that really makes it pop, so we'll do that. Um, now the decorating, all of this is optional, but if you do have this paper kit um, and you wanna make yours like mine, this is just a, a navy card stock um, and you can find a blue piece of paper. You could also take one of the darker pages and mount it on that and that would also help frame it and pop it if you don't have any navy navy paper. Let's see. So it'll actually fit on here. And I'm just gonna cut this to give just a little bit of a mat to the square. Very cute. So, um, I, I told you guys I've just been kind of dipping my toe in making digital paper. I think I'm going to ask, I, I can't, it makes me nervous asking for requests because I'm not very good at it yet, but I may ask just kind of general themes like, would you be interested in a, um, a fall theme or of course as we're heading into the holidays some of the the, the um, holidays coming up um, is there a color palette or a particular animal or a flower that you like just so that I can start to get some ideas as I'm starting to design the next stages I love fall so I'm sure I'm going to do something that has to do with fall all right, so if I'm gonna put the birds on the actual belly band itself, I think that would work. I didn't even ink this. I think it'll still slide on and off. I'll, I'll do mine, and if it doesn't work, don't do yours yet. <laughs> then you could just decorate the front and have the belly band over the top of it, but I'm, I'm gonna try this. I am going to just add some glue right to my belly band and we're going to stick the birds down but anyway so I'm thinking about doing you know just a community post here on YouTube and ask you guys what you think and if you have any ideas um, I also one of you and I'm sorry that I can't remember I said if y'all have any ideas or suggestions for the names of kits because I felt like I was struggling with that someone said this one could have been birds in blue and I so I may also ask for um, suggestions for some names of some paper kits in the future, we'll see. Sometimes I get them done and I'm like, oh, I'm just ready to show you guys so I don't slow down enough. Okay, that worked great if you wanna do yours that way. So I'm not gonna decorate the front of this flap. I do wanna put something here so it's not quite so bright white. Whether I do some book page or I may just use a piece of this. This is completely optional. You could also, oh wait, I have another idea. You could also do like paper you can write on. Uh, not that you couldn't have written on that, but let me see. I think I have a strip of coffee dyed paper that's close. Ah, look, it's the right width. Um, it was in my scrap, my scrap pile. Um, that will certainly encourage whoever's using this little tiny folio to maybe write a note or quote or something on here. All right, so I'm gonna glue this one down. I think I'm gonna put the lighter side up. And that's something I've gotta take time to do too, is I am almost completely, I have scraps of my coffee and tea dyed paper, but I have used all of my big pieces. So I need to take time one day away from other, other, other crafty adventures um, and make myself some paper for my journals. Um, it makes me so happy when I have a nice big crinkly pile to pull from. Um, but I haven't taken, I haven't slowed down enough to make any paper lately. All right, I'm just gonna ink these edges. All right, what a sweet project. All right, this kit also came with um, some little tags. And 
I think the width might be okay. It's a little snug, but definitely the height, it's too tall. So I am going to chop it off. And while I'm chopping, I'm gonna just take a sliver off of both sides. Just a sliver. So it still looks good, but I think it'll fit in here better. Cute. All right, still a little bit too tall. Let me tell you how tall it's gonna end up being. I'm gonna make it three inches tall. All right. And see how when a paper kit doesn't have exactly what you want or need, you can just make it work. Um, and I'm gonna grab some of my doodads. And if you don't have doodads, um, grab a magazine or some junk mail and maybe cut out a word or some numbers or something that you think looks interesting, a flower. You could grab another one of the bird pieces if you're using this kit and you could decorate your tag. I'm just gonna add, since I do have some doodads, um, I'm gonna add this to the tag to give it a little bit of interest. I um, have watched for years, um, E was scrapbooking with me and her daughter, uh, I think her name is pronounced Melania I'm not going to get it right, so I'm not going to try. But um, anyway, I love watching E. And when you get all these little tiny, tiny pieces and stuff, I love she calls them the giblets. And being from the South myself, I really appreciate that. Um, because I have a lot of giblets and a lot of doodads and a lot of scraps. And I keep telling my family I'm going to clean up my, my craft room, but I haven't done it yet. Oh, well, I'm trying. <laughs> we'll see. No one's complaining. I just feel like I need to, um, I just feel like I need to clean it up. I want a piece of ribbon or something on here. I'm going to get my ribbon scrap. And we're just going to make it easy and staple a little piece of ribbon to this just to make it look cute. I think it'll still close up okay. I mean, the ribbon might get folded, but it'll be all right. Yeah, it'll be okay. I'm all right with that. Could also trim it a little shorter. Okay, what else do I have to play with? Um, I am thinking, now I could have printed some of these birds at a, um, instead of at 100%, you know, I could have printed them at 75%, 60%, something like that, and gotten some little ones, but I'm just going to trim him up some, and I think it's still going to fit in here. Um, because I'm using the kind of closure I am, I don't want him sticking out. But if I turn him like that, he, he sits in there just fine. All right. Um, got him. Let's see. He's definitely a little big. But again, I can cut things up. I'm going to take a piece of this. And I think this is a piece from the freebie. Um, you get those little squares. I'm pretty sure that's what this is, but I'm just going to punch a one inch circle out of that piece of paper because I just think that will be cute right there to decorate that pocket. Very easy. Um, and then let's go to the inside and see what we've got. So I need something to go in this large pocket. And I do think one of these will be very cute and it can just stick out. I'm gonna trim it off just a touch, but it fit in there nicely. Just didn't want it to be quite that tall. Someone is mowing grass in my neighborhood. I hope that's not too distracting for you guys. Very cute. Now this one could also use a ribbon or something. So 
So I will just keep the theme going and we'll do the same kind of ribbon topper for this one so that they coordinate. Well, you know how you say, oh, I'm gonna just really quick do something. And then for some reason it's not folding up the way you want it to. Um, and I could punch holes and put eyelets and thread the ribbon through and do all of that, but I'm just not going to do it today. I'm just not in the mood. <laughs> all right. Um, here's some more of these squares, and I think I could do um, one of these. I'm just going to fold it over to give it a little more structure and glue it down. with a little more thickness and let's see I know I've got another I know I've got some more square birds somewhere here's a few hmm. I don't know I may just stick one there and for now for time's sake I may not do too much to this I kind of want to put something on here though to make it look like Grab this, pull this out of here. So maybe, let's see if I've got a doodad that'll help convey that thought. Yeah, I'll just put a label. And then you'll see it peek through where the pockets come together. We'll see. In fact, I'm even gonna have it come up just a little bit. I wipe the glue off. Okay, yeah, that looks cute. Um, I've got a little bird in here. This would also look cute backed on some navy paper. But I'm just gonna stick them in there for now. Let's see. And I'm going to put one there just for fun. And then what else can I do? What will be cute on here? Um, maybe a strip of these flowers across the pocket. I love all the different textures in the paper. Okay. And we'll do a little torn edge. So I haven't torn anything in this video, and so why not, right? To get it to be the right length. All right, just for some interest and maybe a word, let's see if we can find in Trim the Tree. Well, it's not Christmas. Um, how about make the days count? That'll be cute. Sometimes I'm much more intentional with the words I use. Like I even will select the words before I get started and I, I know that's the sentiment that I wanna use. And then sometimes I just go in my little doodad box and find something. Hmm. I'll just set it up there or down here. We'll see where I end up sticking it once I have the glue on it. How's that? Right there. All right, so you get the idea, and you also get the idea that you could keep going and going, right? Um, but it is so cute. I love decorating these and putting them together. Let's make sure I didn't put too many, too many treasures in here, and then my belly band doesn't want to fit. Hmm. That would be sad, wouldn't it? So here's a here's a helpful hint from Pam. Do as, do as I say, not as I do. Um, don't attach, you know, your belly band until you've finished decorating your folio. And if you already have and yours is messed up like mine, everything is fixable. So here we go. How are we going to fix this? It's a little thin. The side of the paper is a little thin. Let's see what we can do. We know we want the birds in the front. We want it. I think. I think it'll be okay, and then we'll glue it together and add um, a little piece of paper to it, like a little label or something. 
Okay, I'm gonna make it even a little bit looser. We won't see this torn part of the paper. And I think it'll it'll have enough integrity when I glue it back together. Get it nice and even. Okay, and I'm gonna just patch it with something. And probably just a sliver of the paper from the kit. I'll just patch it on here and we'll be fine. If yours doesn't tear apart, I'm so sorry. I hope maybe you waited um, before you, you glued yours together. So that is definitely um, a helpful hint because even though I thought I didn't put the belly band on very tight, once I got all my treasures in here, it got significantly thicker and it wouldn't fit. All right, so I hope yours is okay and I hope you enjoyed making this project with me. Um, if you make one, drop me a comment. Let me know how it turned out. I'd love to see what you make. If you share your things on social media, let me know. And um, yeah, I hope you guys had fun with this one. Uh, I appreciate you watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave me a comment. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks.